just about nine miles from downtown Manhattan as EA Sports brings you to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. A few moments ago, the crowd here was on their feet as their beloved Jets made their way out of the tunnel. They're ready to go. We're ready to go. And it should be a good one as those New York Jets get set to face off with the Chicago Bears. Taking it about the one. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Call it a gain of three. And they're going to face a third down. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So opening drive, third down. They complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it. And receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield, break towards the middle, and the ball should be there. And then they can get to do some work afterwards. And they'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. Got his tight end here. It's Hurts. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Now Fields. Deep ball for Goodwin. And this is caught. Touchdown. Marquise Goodwin, 52 yards. And the Bears have taken the early lead. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And we knew that this offense was going to try and put pressure on the secondary. That was something they talked about with us. They knew that they had an advantage, pressed it, and there you go. Big play for a touchdown on their very first possession. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. First and ten, it's Wilson. 
Man open is Keelan Cole complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. They go quickly here out to Moore. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. And some space here. And he is brought down by the before reaching the 30. 23 yards on the pick up there and a first. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Now this one complete to Corey Davis. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. On the counter, here's Coleman. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Carter. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Michael Carter taking it in from four yards out. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Oh, CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they look like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4 fine between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. Extra point by Nagar is looking good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. had it each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kicks away The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. A play fake, now fields to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. CJ Mosley, the linebacker, making sure his 
his presence is felt. Well, they sit him on the blitz from that linebacker spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it's hard for anyone to react. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Throwing on third down, Fields. And that is incomplete. And this is what you wanted to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They run with Samaje's younger cousin. This is LaMichael P. Ryan. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 10 yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front. And they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Out right here to Herndon. And able to use his stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down. A pretty good game. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Second quarter, two minutes to go, tie ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Blowing that play up, Roquan Smith as he gets the sack. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Wilson now to throw on third down. Throw complete to Herndon. And he'll take this to the other side of the field before going out of bounds. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. From the gun, a run for Johnson. Akeem Hicks that time on the tackle. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Wilson. And finding Keelan Cole. And he's got Rome. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. 
From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out of fumble. And this is picked up by the Bears. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. To throw again on second down. Fields. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Lamarcus Joyner with a pick. And a potential turning point as he'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. After the interception, here's Wilson. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic, no need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. On second down, it's Coleman. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They go play action now. Wilson. Airing one out for Crowder. And got his man complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. We saw this plenty last year in college. He loved to take his shots downfield, and that throw, that was a thing to behold there. And I'm telling you, nothing will light up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receiver streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. An extra point by Nagoya is up and good. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. the line. 
line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third. Uh, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Carl Lawson with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are. Here. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Very kind, the defensive end got there off the edge. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He sets to fire deep. And that's caught inside the 35. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Off play action, Fields. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back in the Another bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and ended up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Fields. Touchdown, Bears! Jimmy Graham. 29 yards, and the Bears are an extra point away from tying the football game. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays, but in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that will tie our game here in the third. From his end zone, it's Corey Ballantyne. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And these two teams have traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter, so we're right back to where we started at intermission. Yeah, how about that? Tied at the half. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 66 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice game there. Jalen Johnson up to make the tackle. Second and six. From the gun, it's Wilson. And the grab by Croft. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Running from the gun, Johnson. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you, 
and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Here's a fast release by Wilson out to the flat. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Wilson finding Crowder there, first down New York. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. P. Ryan. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. Johnson is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground, now on third do you go to the air. I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think this. And this is going to be intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant. And he's into the clear. The 40, 30, past the 20. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. In a tie game, fourth quarter, that's about as big of a defensive play as you can possibly make. And it didn't happen by accident. That was, that was scouting right there. They've seen things that have happened before. They knew in certain situations the type of plays they like to run, read it, and were able to go after the football, get it, and take it into the end zone for a touchdown for themselves. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And can they regroup? That's the question. The pick six hurt, no doubt, but this is still a one-score game here in the fourth. Back to the air, Wilson after the pick six. Herndon's got it complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. First down. First down. Now Wilson. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Roquan Smith in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Now it's Wilson. And that's complete to Davis. Nice, well coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. Here's Wilson. He's going to let it fly. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Corey Davis, 63 yards. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. Take it in at the three. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return.
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They need to get this around the 40 on the other side to get into field goal range. Look at the clock, a decent amount of time here in a tie game. What do they do? No panic situation at all. They've got to get a couple of chunk plays, pick up nice bits of yardage. Target the sidelines. Target the sidelines because you want to get out of bounds and make sure that clock stops. Because if the clock stays running, that makes things that much tougher for you. It can always bleed out on you. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And off comes to Montgomery. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. One play action, Fields. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The former third over put Quinn Williams there to bring him down. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on his drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, Nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And that changes everything here in OT. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. Prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can dictate the whole thing, because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now a first throw here in overtime. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. third and ten conversion to keep this opening drive of OT alive. Now the Jets are going to burn another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Here's Fields. 
Goodwin able to haul it in. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 21 yards there on third down. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. So that'll back him up five. It's Fields. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Over the dime looked on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Second and 15. Fields throwing again. And this one is incomplete. Normally you think the tight end's gonna be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. on that last play and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down out of the gun fields yeah this pass broke him up excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to well done by the defense they did their job here in overtime boy did they ever because now it's fourth and really long so if you do decide to go for it People think you might be a little bit on the nut side, don't they? But guess what? If I did decide to go for it, I'd call something deep. <laughs> I'd throw a deep pass and hope that the defense didn't remember to just knock it down. If they intercept it, it's almost like a great punt and helps out your defense with field position. So a big move here, playing to win in overtime. They're gonna go for it on fourth down. They snap it to Fields. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. Time now for Wilson. Going deep now for Herndon. Got a man, it's oh, caught inside the 10. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown.